Let's talk about a motor starting capacitor. Here's one here. Now they're not there to give the motor a, a boost of energy to get it to, to run. What they do, they're in series with the starting winding and they take the current in this winding and they, they uh, put it 90 degrees out of phase with the current in the running winding. Okay. So the, uh, and that creates a rotating field here. Okay. And now as soon as the uh, motor gets up to about 75% of its rated speed, there's a centrifugal switch that opens up and it takes the starting winding and the capacitor out of the circuit. These capacitors can only, uh, you know, there's a lot of current going through there in the starting winding and uh, they're only good for, you know, a few seconds while the motor starts up. Now, you know, we talk about current flowing through here. We, we know that electrons can't, they don't jump the barrier here, otherwise we'll direct a capacitor. But on this side, um, the current coming off of this side is called displacement current. And uh, you can use Maxwell's laws to calculate the uh, displacement current. But it just shifts the, the uh, current in this winding is 90 degrees out of phase with this one, creates a rotating field. And as soon as it starts to spin up, we, we disconnect it. Now, some of the early motors, they just had a single winding in them. And uh, you could physically rotate the the motor itself, they had a little flywheel on there to get it to spin in the direction you wanted it to spin. So, now, you can you can reverse the, uh, these motors easy. Here's how, here's the diagram on how to reverse it. They're uh, usually from about half horse to five horsepower. Over five horsepower, they, they have a, it's a capacitor start, capacitor run induction motor. Now what they do on that is they add another capacitor across here. It's usually an oil filled capacitor, a different type of capacitor, a running capacitor. And they disconnect the starting capacitor and they leave that run capacitor in there. And they leave the starting winding hooked up and it stays in the circuit, okay, for the little larger motors. So uh, that's what a, that's what a uh, starting capacitor does. Now we'll take a look, we'll take a look at one. Now, they're different than electrolytic capacitors. Electrolytic capacitors, here's one here, and they have, um, this is the positive anode, and it's, it's a, um, it's aluminum with an oxide layer on it, and that's your dielectric. And the other layer is just a, just a piece of aluminum, okay? Now, this is the positive side here, and if you hook this to the negative side, it breaks down this layer, this oxide on there, and the, uh, the capacitor is not good anymore. Now, on a, here's a uh, motor starting capacitor. Now, here's an electrolytic that's uh, it's 220 microfarads at 250 volts. This is uh, 227 microfarads at 127 volts. Now, these capacitors have to be a lot larger because you know, the displacement current going through them is is, uh, is going to be large. Now, this one here I took apart before. It's full of um, some kind of electrolyte. I dried it out. But I'll just show you how the, these, are, these are made. So, can we see that? This is, uh, now these are not non-polarized capacitors. So, you put AC through them. And here's one plate here. And here's your other plate over here, okay? And it's just a piece of aluminum. It looks like it's got oxide on it. It's a fairly, fairly heavy plate. Now, these two, you can see that they're not... This is the AC side here. Now, what they do here is they have another plate on the bottom side here. We can see it. Huh? Can we get that open? There's some dielectric material. There it is. And then there's another plate on the bottom here. Okay. And that plate's continuous. It goes past these two plates. So what they're doing on this thing you have your two terminals here, your AC across here. And this one happens to be 330 volts AC. And then the dielectric in, inside, and then this the metal foil the, is continuous across here. So that's like putting two um, 
capacitors in series with each other and that increases the voltage on it so they have uh, instead of having one solid plate and then having the uh, terminals on both sides they put a terminal here and here and then a solid plate underneath so it's set up like this I think that's just to increase the, the voltage uh, and to get it, the, it you know it needs to pass a lot of a uh, lot of current to keep to get this motor to start starting winding so that's uh, basically a uh, starting capacitor so uh, and now they're only good to uh, they limit the starts to about uh, 20 starts per hour on these these capacitors because they they uh, they do get hot they'll they'll uh, you can burn them up if you run them too much so you can only start the motor about 20 times an hour so that you have time to rest and uh, but that's uh, that's all it is that's uh, the, that's your capacitor start induction run run motor thank you